Hello everybody, good to see you back. Another week in the studio, another of my videos. Warsaw Poland here, Paul is my name. Guys, and today you're gonna see me in my winter cap just for a while. It's been made by my girlfriend and I think it's the best item in its kind in the world. I mean, this cap is lovely, I love it. It's the best one in the world. I just had to show it to you. Have you ever seen something that great? on anybody's head. I haven't. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna use it today because it's gonna cover my ears and make any critical listening difficult and we're gonna need some today because today I'm gonna review for you a new compressor called LVL-01. It's been modeled after custom vintage Gates STA level very new compressor. And what's interesting here that it is an AI compressor, not in the mean that Sonable compressor is smart so it helps you make right decision. No, the algorithm of compression itself has not been written by a programmer or, or by the dev team. It has been learned and proposed by an AI machine learning process. And this is something new on the market and I have to give it a go. Normally, or typically in the world of plugins, you've got two ways. The first one is that you simply write a code. You create an algorithm that's gonna mimic the behavior of something vintage, or it can be your original authorial algorithmic work of any kind. So you've got a team of programmers, of designers, uh, of testers uh, and other people, and they're gonna create, they're gonna deliver you the code, the code, the algorithm. The other way is like some kind of a passive way, which means that you're gonna make convolutions. You're gonna sample your EQs, your, your reverbs, your tools, and then you're gonna use what you have sampled as a convolution with algorithmic also uh, elements, like with acoustic audio, you're gonna have some settings to choose from dynamically. So also some algorithmic coding part in it as well. But here we've got actually something in between, but not exactly, because we are having a code, it's an algorithmic machine, but this algorithm has not been delivered deliberately by the team of people just sitting and writing the code in Juice or any other framework or language. No, this algorithm was some kind of a passive process in the meaning that no human action, no human decision was there. It has been derived passively by an AI machine learning. So uh, the designer simply ran some pre-compression and post-compression samples into the AI machine and they told it, hey, learn and mimic what it is doing. And guys, we're gonna hear if it's any good. Here's the today's session. I have created a loop of some down-tempo trip-hop kind. I'm gonna play you this loop now. Yeah, I think I can create a song out of it. It's very, very simple for now, but it's cool. I can already hear something nice out there. Anyway, this is how our compressor looks like. As you can see, a very, very simple machine. Just drive comp uh, knob, which is, I suppose, input with supposedly auto gain matching. Then I've got six recovery times. And that's actually it. And I have to tell you that it's definitely not the same as the original Gates STA, which had, you can see it here, uh, actually recovery time single or double, so shorter or longer. Also, I got input output. And I've also got a modern recreation of this compressor which has got three modes for three different attack characteristics mainly, while double works mainly the same like the original one. And I have got also 
six recovery times in this recreation. So our plugin is not the modern recreation. It's not the vintage unit. It's something in between. Let's remember that it has been built um, based on a custom um, STA level compressor, not the factory unit. Anyway, guys, let's give it a go on drums. Yeah, I think that's going to be my setting for the drums. How about gain matching? Yeah, that's it. Let's try it. Let's turn it on, of course. Let's try it on bass. No, not today. Let's say it's gain matched somehow, guys, and I have got this pad FX layer. Okay, so I've got three different flavors. Every of these is kind of seriously not typical. The Tone Empire guys, they tell me in the description of this plugin that it's for less obvious compression. And that's totally true because it sounds like no other compressor that I know and I have in my arsenal. This is something totally different, I would say. Mm, but I somehow like it. I think I've got some nice gritty character of the whole thing. And you know what, guys? Now, to compare, I'm going to create two groups. The first one is going to be the group with our compressor. And the second one, just to compare, is going to be without compression. So we're going to hear if the results we're having are any cool and interesting between these two. Let's listen. There's more this or uh, this 3D in the sound, definitely. All the background details that were they were brought up front, and all the attack face is very snappy and very gritty. And I like it with this character of the of the loop of the track that I might have produced one day. Guys, this is cool, but you know what? We're gonna extend our test. Yes, because there's also a similar compressor, exactly Gates STA level recreation by Arturia. It's called CompTube STA, looks like this. And they say the double is 
the most similar to the original unit because this one is actually modeled after the recreation by retro instruments. Definitely it's the same panel. So I'm going to aim for double as the closest to the vintage original unit possibly. And then I'm going to tweak it. Slow recovery around 7 to 8 dB of reduction with slow recovery. They surely sound similar, my friends. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay, this triple is more aggressive, actually. It doesn't sound totally, doesn't sound like LVL01. Let's say this is more or less roughly this, but uh, there's a huge character difference. I won't blame anybody here because these are different units actually modeled. Mm, this is different hardware that's been modeled here. Mm, but if you ask me, I prefer LVL1 here on this base. Uh, and then let's go. There's less compression in LVL01, but while having the same peaks, I have more perceived loudness and presence from LVL01 definitely here. Also, it's more gritty and I like it actually, but let's say this is kind of gain matched. This is... Mm, the closest I could get it in a quick test. Remember, it's a quick test. It's not a scientific test. It can't be because these algorithms are really different, guys. So now let's compare them all. Yes, so Arturia is a bit more transparent and smooth, I would say, while Tone Empire LVL01 goes crazy. But you know what? It goes crazy the way that I like. It's not too universal. It's not going to be um, like my go-to in what I do, but for aiming at some really, really vintage character on drums or on bass, I can see a lot of use for it, guys, and, well, it sounds really good, and guys, it's cheap. <laughs> Tone Empire stuff is good and cheap, I'm serious. Anyway, guys, 
now we're gonna do one more thing at the very beginning because as this is an AI machine learning derived algorithm, it's not optimized. It's not written by people. So people cannot intervene much in it because it has been just spit out by AI. Here is, here's what I got. There's no actual manual for it or not too much tweaking of it on human side as far as I know, um, but how is that going to affect the performance? Because the Tone Empire guys, they also warn you somehow that this plugin can be a little bit more CPU consuming. We'll see how much more. To see this, we're going to first disable everything here. I just only left the tracks with LVL01. As you can see, guys, I'm even gonna, mm, no, I'm not gonna, or should I? Yes, I will. Yes, I was able to get 127 tracks running let's say kind of smoothly and now we're gonna do the same test with arturia yes 494 tracks with CompTube STA by Arturia, so it's four times more CPU intensive than Arturia, which is not a particularly great news, I would say, though this is a cool compressor. Let's try to sum the things up. Would I throw this LVL01 compressor on every track, every bus? No, of course not, because it's too characterful, it's too specific, it's very gritty, it's very old school, it's it's vintage really, mm, kind of unpredictable sometimes, but it really sounds cool, it sounds great guys. So for me, my main usage of it would be creating like low fee trip hop beats like this one I tried to create for you and though it consumes kind of a lot of your CPU, it does not consume a lot of your wallet, guys. This thing goes cheap. So I suggest that you try it out yourself. And on one bus, two tracks, it's worth trying it in your project. I am definitely gonna consider adding this to my collection. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. And I hope to see you very, very soon.